in this video i will explain the uh, methods to clean the geometry and repair the uh, bad features in the geometry and these ones are the common ones are the hard edges the extra edges small edges the holes in the geometry for example uh, here you can see the holes are there uh, they are sharp angles sharp angles means that the on the surface like there is a uh, geometry and the surface is divided into the two parts and uh, they are forming a sharp angle so that can be like solved okay like this is a sharp angle so there is no need of having the these two faces with a sharp angle so this can be uh, repaired then the slivers are there which are the small faces uh, maybe overlapping then the spikes are there they are protruding from the geometry there are the like uh, faces with the problems and the body so there are the, like uh, many features and i i guess that uh, these features have changed in the new version like i can see uh, repair faces and repair bodies they were not present in the old version but now in the 2024 they are there and uh, uh, please keep this thing in mind that we are using the 2024 release 2 okay and that's why i taught you about the ss student 2024 release 2 and how to download and how to install it okay so now the repairing option we have to deal with okay the geometry that i use this geometry right now is in the original state okay here you can see that it has uh, some uh, very small faces here uh, which are not required so i will now instead of removing them manually i will be dealing with them uh, like uh, uh, through the tools and that is much easier and uh, it's a much, it's a more handy than the like if you if you use some like a manual options okay so i will step forward go and i will go on the repair repair hard edges so i can tell you one thing that this is the extra edge that is present here okay now these are called the hard edges so hard edges means that the, they will make the problem for the meshing and on the edges the the meshing software because the now uh, if you work on the any meshing software and tetra meshing you know that the the those these meshing softwares they will refine the mesh on the edges because they think that this these are boundary condition these are the these are boundaries of the face and where the mesh should be like a flow condition will be changing and so the mesh will also be changing so they will try to make the refined mesh over there but you know that this thing from looking at the geometry this is not the uh, change in the geometry or there are some boundary condition change it's like uh, in the middle of the nowhere of uh, of the surface okay so the first thing that we are going to use is the repair hard edges okay now the hard edges there is no criteria there is only that the actual edges are there and they will be removed there okay so the hard edges are like multiple edges they they found them uh, one of them is here second is here third is here so uh, and the last one is here okay so we can now simply click on generate and they all should be removed you can see that all are removed without that if you suppress the feature right click here and suppress you can see that there are the edges inside as well and we even didn't see them okay we didn't even see them so they were there like here okay so they have the no purpose of anything to be to be here actually so they should be removed okay so now you can unsuppress okay the second option we will use them in the in the in the like uh, same order okay repair edges so they will look for the like uh, smallest possible edge length definitely the criteria set by the uh, some criteria but if you want to change now for that you have to look for some uh, features manually definitely so every command that we are using is not done automatically for the many options for these small features the software does not know that the first small features you have so you have to give the criteria okay so i am right now i am just uh, working on the the default criteria by the design modeler and the option we have is the edge merge edge delete face de edge delete face merge and the do not repair okay so definitely i think that the most uh, appropriate option right now here is the edge merge so click on generate and these small edges now are gone okay 
the next one is the holes this is very interesting okay this is very interesting so these holes are there that you can actually select them manually and uh, we can use the fill command but after fill command they will be separate uh, bodies solid bodies and then you have to join them with the help of the boolean operation but here let's see the magic we are going to get but again you have to provide the minimum size criteria and maximum size criteria by yourself and uh, first let me make it yes you can see that it is not finding any fault here so uh, i guess that the every face is of the same size so i am using the scale in the on the in the, in the rough way very rough idea so uh, the maximum size i am going to put is 0.005 okay or 0.005 it is more than the like this one uh, or maybe you can put it maybe 0.01 okay okay so sorry the minimum one is this one okay so 0 0.305 and maximum one is a 0 0.05 so let's see what we see here so uh, you see the whole size is all the whole size are approximately 0 0.0049 so 0049 so you can limit the your minimum size to the 0 0.001 and this will still work okay so it found the nine holes so count them one two three four five six seven eight nine simply click on generate and all the holes will be filled automatically okay okay so now next one is the repair and sharp angles but i don't find that there are any sharp angles here especially with the criteria up to 20 degrees 20 degrees is a very good criteria uh, but if you want to change it, you see your choice. But I think this is default criteria is good. So there is no uh, fault detected. So it is not going to repair anything at all. Okay. The next one is the uh, repair and uh, we have the slivers. So I want to give you definition that, uh, see, uh, I, I, will, I, will, I will be giving a definition of these uh, options one by one. Okay, here you can see that uh, we have the uh, repair slivers. Slivers, uh, design model defines a sliver as a face which is narrow provided that the face has a two or more edges. Actually, there are two edges here. Okay, so any face that we uh, in the now again we have to like uh, set the criteria manually required. So these are the like uh, some locations where it is finding out the problems. So simply click on generate and those issues are now solved okay now then again go to tools and uh, we are going to repair spikes there are no spikes at all there is no like uh, protections from here so there is no repairing then again tools menu and uh, we have the repair faces option so this is going to look for the like uh, the smallest possible faces so click on repair now did you observe what happened here actually I am going to unsurpress. Oh, sorry, surpress. These faces, these uh, three, uh, four geometry parts, uh, they had uh, like a very uh, problematic geometry here, and we will not be able to like uh, we can delete them. Uh, one option is that you can go to the like uh, delete option and face delete, but sometimes they can make a shoe. Okay, you can see. Now this is going into the like a very long loop and it didn't, it didn't work okay. So to solve this problem there is a like a very nice options in these softwares. So repair faces will repair these because they are going to make the problem for the machine okay. Maybe you can move them and repair them uh, maybe you can modify them then they can be useful uh, to the geometry. But right now they are going to make the problem so unsuppress and these will be gone okay. So I think so far you have seen that the what benefits we are getting uh, with this all. Okay. Okay. Now the next thing is that I am going to like uh, go to tools and uh, repair bodies. Again, it is going with uh, like uh, uh, minimum volume. Let's find out. Okay. And click on generate. 
so but they they, they they remove the features from here and that I don't want so I'm going to suppress okay okay now the next thing is that that I want to tell you here is that number one thing you can observe that this is like a going inside okay uh, they are just on the surfaces okay they are just on the surface on the fuselage but the vertical tail is going inside so the one thing is that I want to move it because this is going to make the very sharp corners here these sharp corners and this is not good not very sharp but this is not good for the meshing if this is not a design constraint then I, I would like to move it okay and how much I, I want to move it I want to move the distance like this much okay the distance is about the 0 0.005 okay or maybe 0 0.005 or maybe 0 0.008 or maybe 0 0.01 okay so we know the distance now roughly so I am going to like uh, work here so create menu and uh, body transformation and translate okay so direction will be along the y axis negative y axis so I am going to choose the normal plane that is the uh, zx plane so here I am moving it by the distance of 0 0.005 okay so click and generate and you can see now they are not making any sharp corners anywhere okay okay now I am going to hide the fuselage hide okay not suppress and I will use the one beta feature from tools menu that is the solid extension so I am going to extend these uh, surfaces or distance actually I have uh, given here was calculated by looking at the scale and then looking at the how they will behave so you have to work with uh, you have to play with this distance uh, but it's not easy this is not a difficult thing this is a very easy thing to uh, get value so initially I used a point uh, zero 0.01 but I found that they are actually penetrating to each other on these locations so then I change to the half distance then you can play with the, like any distance but that should be appropriate okay now simply uh, display the body and you can see now they are penetrating here so why I did this, this this thing I will tell you okay so again suppress the geometry and uh, here I am going to uh, like uh, make the blend and that blend you can also get from the create menu okay so I am going to choose the faces again which radius you should be giving here again I will use a scale here okay so uh, it should be of maximum should be the of the face width not more than that and the face width looks like uh, it's a maybe 0.005 it's a more than 0.005 it's a 0.001 okay so I will choose a face so I, I want to make them round actually why round uh, they are not aerophile, they should have been aerophile, but the geometry is not a perfect geometry. It's a, like uh, somebody made it. Uh, I'm thankful to that person and I uh, took it from the grave cat. So uh, I should appreciate that person, but definitely uh, he uh, wanted to make the some like a craft model for demonstration purpose, not the correct one, and even not the aerophiles here. Okay. So I'm going to make some rounds here so that they, uh, they will not be aerophiles, but they will look like aerophiles. okay and similarly here okay the, the the radius i chose is the point triple zero five okay so this is result i am getting here okay uh, this is giving the like a very nice features like uh, may are not not aerophile but close to aerophile uh, if you want to like a change maybe 0.001 okay it will not work okay so 0 0.008 okay 0 0.005 okay generate okay I will edit the feature again edit selection and I will select the uh, again say make the selection of, of the face and I will select these uh, uh, faces okay and you should press a control key whenever you want to add something extra add extra faces then press a control key okay 
and now generate uh, I think we didn't select the this face here so again the same command and uh, choose the face now there, there are 12 faces and click on generate save the project file definitely okay so I think that we are okay now uh, now you can right click here and you can show all bodies okay uh, the next thing is that the next thing is that uh, I want to show you one option that option I will not going to use here so analysis tools uh, that is also part of the second uh, lecture so interface detection okay so go make it yes you will find the five interfaces and these are the obvious ones they are obvious ones definitely there is a, like an intersection between or, or they are like a interference between the uh, these bodies so there are five bodies two wings two uh, horizontal tails one vertical tail the interference between the fuselage and these five bodies it's very much obvious so uh, they are not going to make anything they are there just for the visibility purpose okay okay now the next thing is that that is like uh, I am going to uh, merge them together and they will make a single part okay so that's why I extended them to so select all these five bodies uh, sorry six bodies now including the fuselage is going to be six bodies so unite them and click on generate so now this is a repaired body uh, after removing all the problems from the geometry okay save the project and the last thing that uh, I, I want to show you that you can make the half model but that half model you should be making when you make the uh, enclosure or the domain around that one but I can show you the one feature that is symmetry but symmetry we usually speaking as I'm telling you we apply symmetry when we make the uh, uh, the domain okay but anyhow uh, symmetry plane is going to be the YZ plane and provided that this plane is passing through the center of the our our, our aircraft okay uh, full model I will explain what, what is the meaning of full model and half model that is about the answer mechanical uh, nothing to do with uh, like uh, with uh, with the symmetry okay so now we have the half model with us okay so you can now uh, like there's a single body now only and this that's ready for the domain creation and the subsequent meshing and the save analysis thank you very much